everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have a kitchen basic that is seriously essential in the summer. Say that three times fast. These are homemade garlic croutons that are gonna be perfect for your summer dinner salads or even just for snacking. I can't wait to show you how these all come together. We're gonna go over all the ingredients and there are only a few, but we're gonna make some of the most delicious garlic croutons. And these are great, you can make them ahead of time. This is, to me, one of the best ways to enjoy croutons is to use your leftover or day old bread. If you brought home some rolls, like we, we brought home some ciabatta buns and I've got about four of them here that I have cut into strips and then torn into quasi cubes. Um, so there's about four cups worth of cubed ciabatta rolls here. We're going to make a garlic crouton. So I have a quarter of a cup of olive oil and about four uh, cloves of minced garlic. We're gonna season this up with a teaspoon of Italian seasoning blend and a teaspoon of kosher salt. We're all ready to go. I've got my oil heated up in this pan. I have my, my pan set on medium high heat, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and reduce it to medium. I'm immediately going to put the cubes of bread in the pan and start tossing. This is super important. You want good oil coverage on all of your bread cubes. And now we're just going to let the heat from the pan do its magic and toast up these croutons until they're beautiful and croutony. So this may take a few minutes, but you want to make sure that you babysit these. You don't want to like leave them in one spot and walk away. This is not the time to get distracted by your kids or the dog or a phone call because when that happens, typically you're going to burn your croutons. So we're gonna go ahead and keep tossing until these are ready. I'll bring you back and I'll let you know how long it took. While we wait, I wanna take a moment to say thank you for watching and being a part of our community. And please consider hitting that thumbs up button if you like what you see. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you're a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and I've been here kind of just randomly stirring this. I find that using two wooden spoons really does help to move these around in the pan. These are just about done. You'll definitely be able to tell. The, um, the bread stops being soft, obviously, because we're trying to dry it out, but it also starts to sound different mm -hmm. and look different. You can clearly feel um, that they're getting crispy as you hold your spoon, and you can also hear them being coming crispy because they definitely have a different sound as they're moving around in the pan. And the reason you wanna continue moving it around is because number one, you only wanna toast the garlic that's on these croutons as well as the croutons. You don't wanna burn it because garlic has a very bitter acrid taste to it once it gets burnt. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle these with the seasoning and the salt. Give it one more toss. Oh, that smells good. And another important thing, using a nonstick skillet is going to be super helpful here. Today, I am once again using the Blue Diamond uh, saute pan. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. The day I'm uploading this is Prime Day and they're offering a really great offer. So if you're interested, you can go have a look. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna remove this from the heat and I'll meet you back over at the counter. Well, there you have it. Our delicious garlic croutons are all ready to go. These will keep in a plastic bag in your fridge for up to a week. Honestly, they're not gonna last that long because what you don't use on salads, your husband or your kids are going to do that. There's 
super crunchy. Mm -hmm. They're super delicious and flavorful with toasted garlic, Italian seasoning, and just that little bit of salt that's gonna take everything to a new level. So these are perfect. That's how you do it. That's how simple it is. You can make your own croutons at home. You don't need to buy this stuff in the bag, even though admittedly I have reached for them more than once because they're easy. I know they are. You know, we always end up having a few rolls left over. So this is an option for you. You can throw them in your salad. You can throw them in soups. You can just eat them out of hand as a snack. Store bought doesn't compare to these. So true. I hope you give these this way of making garlic croutons a try sometime soon, and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.